Hey, what's up YouTube? Art Random here, welcome back to my Pokemon Showdown series. Today is a VGC Doubles Day, and I am battling with this new Vulcan Rona team that I built. I just named Vulcan Rona because he was the core that I was building around. I'm rocking out with Garchomp, Milotic, Zapdos, Aegislash, and Mega Mawile. Um, I'm wondering for some items. I got Scarf Chomp, I got Weakness Policy, I got uh, Citrus Berry on... Zapdos, and I believe I got leftovers on Milotic, and I'm um, a Rocky Helmet Rage Powder Volcarona. So let's see what we come up with for uh, an opponent. I've, I hope I've got things that will counter the common threats pretty well, like Rain and Trick Room, because I've been seeing a lot of Trick Room recently. Uh, there's the whole mess of Trick Room. All right, what do we got here? Looks like we got a. Boom Burst Gengar strategy, maybe. Um, we got some hard voice. We got a lot of spread hit. Lot, lot, lot of spread damage. Look at that. We got Rock Slide. We got Hyper Voice. We got Sludge Wave, maybe even. Um, but I think this is a good one for Vulcan Rona. I can get away with Vulcan Rona. Um, I believe I can also get away with Garchomp. I think Garchomp would be really good. Uh, I think I want to do Garchomp and then I want to do Zapdos. It's a little intimidating, but Zapdos is one of my tankier members of my team. I could maybe try the Mega Mawile. I don't think he's got a lot to deal with Mega Mawile. I don't see any fire damage. Exod may get that heat wave, but I'm not really worried about it. And then I think it's I don't think I need to bring Age of Slash, but I think between Milotic and Zapdos, I think Zapdos is the better choice. So let's see how this goes. What is he going to Is he going to make the plays? Um Okay, what do we got? We got Gengar and we got X loud okay 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 so I think I I think if I need to switch I need to do it now because this Gengar is probably gonna mega he does have that pincer, which I don't think you would run a pincer without being able to mega it. But as far as resistance to these guys, and Mawa's got the most resistance, and I'm not going to bother earthquaking right now. So... He does have an immunity to dragon, so I'm a rock slide. I'm a scarf rock slide. Try off the bat. Um... And I can actually get flinches with this guy as opposed to Landorus. Shadow Ball. Ooh, he hit me really hard. Oh, Ice Beam. Exploud gets Ice Beam. Gross. I didn't know that. I did not know that. Um, well, I think I'm about to Mega Sucker Punch a Gengar. And then... I think I should just T-Bolt Exploud. Oh, that was a bad first turn. But it failed. will wisp Burn the Zapdos. Interesting. He knocked out his own Gengar with his scrappy Exploud. Interesting. Vulcan Rona. <laughs> Oops, switched his ability. So I'm guess yeah, I'm guessing he's scrappy. Terrakion. Dang, this is bad. Because Terrakion outspeeds both of my Pokemon. Well, this is probably GG. I misplayed that first turn because I didn't know what to expect from Exploud. i was not going to lie, I was caught off guard. Oh. 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 What is that? What is that? What is that flinch? <laughs> what is that flinch? Gross. 
Oh, that was not fun. That's that's sad. <laughs> he pro he said he had it either way. He probably did, but I was faster than his explod, so I had the double heat wave coming. But there's there was that one. I don't know, this team this team may be a little too heavy on weaknesses. I'm not sure. Alright, okay. Okay, this is a tournament winner team. This is Ugh. That this is a scary team. This is the kind of team that uh you see at uh tournaments and shit like that. Alright, so I'm feeling no matter who he sends out, Milotic's gonna be a good choice. Um I'm really starting to wish I had Landers on this team. Garchomp does outspeed the Lando. He outspeeds everything. Um, except for that uh, priority that priority Brave Bird. Ah, Vulcan Ron is weak to that. I almost want to bait him into using that Talon Flame as to using a fire attack on my ma on my Mawile. I almost want to bait him into doing that. So I'll try sending out Mawile first. Let's do. Let's see. Zapdos. I almost want. I think I need the speed from Garchomp because Garchomp can beat the dragon. No, he can't. Marvel skill is good. Um. Let's try rocking out with Aegis Slash. And. Garchomp. Let's do it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to test this team out more and kind of get a better feel for uh, what he, what they're good for, what they're good against, and how they'll work. Right, so there's the Town Flame. There's the Gengar. Gengar Town Flame. I got the Intimidate on the Talon Flame. I'm gonna Mega Protect. Let's see if I can. If I can bait something from this Talon Gengar combo. Maybe. I'm wondering if he's gonna switch. I would see him switching the Gengar out, predicting a sucker punch. I could see that. I would do it. There's the protect in case of the sucker punch. There's my protect. There's a willow. A willow wisp talon flame. Mmm, toasty. Well, there goes the uh, Scald on the Talon Flame. The Talon Flame. Uh, let's fish for some burns, ladies and gentlemen. Let's... Iron Head the Gengar? Geng... Uh, I feel like Metagross is a bigger threat to Mawile than Milotic. So let's sucker punch the Metagross. I feel like Metagross is a way bigger threat. Oh yeah, yeah. Out. Yeah, slow down the Mawile. Oh, oh, he just competitive boosted my Milotic. Oh god. Oh god. That's unfortunate for you. Throw out that Lando. I bet he brought Lando in the back. I bet he did. Yep, there's the competitive boost. <laughs> yep, you just boosted the Milo Tick to infinity. Oh my god. Well, I'm protecting with Mawile, and I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go for it. Good try, bro. Good try, dog. Oh, he hit it. He hit him. Took me down. Took me down. Good god. Well, I think it's worth it to wide guard and sucker punch the Gengar. Let's do it. Wide guard, sucker punch, knocked out, Lando, earthquake, failed, protected, damages, profit. <laughs> uh, let's flash cannon the Lando because I've 
expect myself to survive one earthquake from a Landorus. Yep. With the absurd defenses of an Aegislash. And all the force all the force of a great typhoon. So there's Wide Guard, and here's let's do let's do a play rough. Why not? Because play rough is always a fun move to use. And protected, and bam. That brought this team to deal with the major threats, and it dealt with the major threats very well. I think that was a that was a mission accomplished. Um, I'll do one more just because I'm really happy with how that last battle went. I'm really excited that that went really well, because this team this team checks the popular Pokemon really well. Um, it's kind of a weird set. I haven't seen any Kangaskhan's yet, which is what Volcanrona is for. A Braviary. All right, so what do we got? Oh, we got a bunch of annoying stuff, really. Uh, I believe Volcanrona is actually going to be a really strong choice here. Uh, I'm a bit worried about that Braviary, but I don't know. Not too, not too worried about it. Uh, I think I'm gonna do Aegislash because the Sylveon. I predict the Sylveon to come up first. Usually people don't hold Sylveons, they usually keep sending them up first. If I was him looking at my team, I think I would do Braviary Sylveon. Or. Sableye Sylveon. I think the Sucker Punch. I think I'm going to need that Sucker Punch really bad. Um, and lastly... I want the Zapdos Heatwave. That's what I want. That's what I want to go. Braviary Sableye. That was close. Not too bad. Okay. So, how about I just protect and King Shield? Wait, fake out. Fake out's coming, right? Protect King Shield. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. All right. So there's the Willow. Does not block that. Interesting. Um, let's, Heat Wave, Shadow Ball, I can take one hit from the Braviary, Heat Wave, Shadow Ball, I was faster, that's fascinating, also I could not take the Heat Wave, Litchi Berry, Foul play. Oh, thank you. Thank you for popping this. That weakness policy. Oh, perfect. That was delicious. That was delicious. Excellent turn two. Excellent turn two. Now, here's where things get crazy. Because Mawile, who he picks, who he ha he brought to this battle, will either make Mawile or Zapdos a better choice. Because Zapdos takes out that Bisharp and that... Rodom hardcore, but Mala takes out the Sylveon and the Gar Gallade. I don't think there's either way he picked Gallade Sylveon or Rodom uh, Bisharp, but I almost feel like it's going to be Rodom Sylveon. In which case, I would rather have, I would rather hold the Zapdos. Gallade Bisharp. Ooh! Okay. It's not defiant. It's not defiant. It's not defiant. That's fascinating. Um Wow, that's weird. That's an interesting choice. Um, okay. He's not, yeah, so he just got the drop too. 
Oh, okay, this will be game because I'll take out this Gallade this turn with one of my Pokemon because if he protects this turn, then my. I don't know. I think I've got this one. <laughs> Either way. The fact that he's not defiant baffles me because he would have gotten a huge boost if he was defiant right now. Because there's my Sucker Punch, and here's my Shadow Ball, which isn't going to do a whole lot. Well, okay, that will do quite a bit, actually. I stand corrected. Um, and let's play rough for neutral damage and... King Shield. I don't know. I mean... I, th I think this one is as good as mine. Why not? Asia Slash is going to go down this turn either way, whether he attacks or I die to burn. Oh, there's the Iron Head. He's going to get that flinch off or something. <laughs> I love that Aegislash Slash is faster than my mom. Wow. That's crazy. Well, there we go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was actually a lot more fun. I was a little worried from the first battle that this wasn't going to go too well. But that was actually a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, thanks, Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and like it down below. Um, in the comments, let me know who you think the MVP of the team was. I'm feeling Mawile. I've never really ran a Mawile, and I'm feeling pretty cool about how that went. Um, also, H Slash is putting in some work, too. So, the Steel Buddies, killing it. Uh, if you want to see more of my content, please subscribe to the channel. I've got new videos coming up all the time. Showdown stuff, um, maybe start new Let's Plays. Who knows? Who knows? Well, thanks for watching, guys. This is Ark Random, signing off. Later.